Hi peeps, I'm Allie and this is Classic Ellie Geek. As it was just American Independence Day, happy 4th of July American viewers, I was inspired to think about some of the awesome classical geeks from our nation's past. So today, I'm going to tell you the awesome, drama-filled, and exciting story of American Shakespearean actress Mary Anderson. Mary Anderson was born in 1859 in Sacramento, California, to an Oxford-educated father from New York and a wealthy Catholic mother from Philadelphia. Her mother was recently disowned from her wealthy Catholic family for eloping with her husband to California, so Mary's life was full of drama even before she was born. Shortly after Mary's birth, her family moved to Kentucky, where her father decided to enlist in the Confederate Army in the Civil War. Which, if you know anything about the American Civil War, is kind of an odd decision for a man from the North. So, odd political affiliations, strange choices. It's a mystery. Mary attended an excellent Catholic school, but was wholly unenthused with the concept of education in general, until she discovered the works of William Shakespeare at age 13. After that, she became obsessed passionately obsessed with theater and literature, particularly Shakespeare. Her family encouraged her to go to New York for acting training, so she did for a couple of weeks before she moved back home. She made her stage debut in 1875 as Juliet in Romeo and Juliet at Macaulay's Theater in Louisville, which was a huge deal. It was the largest theater in the state. And that's not so bad for a girl's first try. The critical acclaim that she received as Juliet skyrocketed her career into a 12-year working streak, which included a national tour of the play Macbeth, where she starred as Lady Macbeth at age 18. Lady Macbeth. 18! So, she made the next logical step in the career of a prominent actress of the time and moved to England. After six successful years working on the English stage, she developed the concept for and starred in an innovative production of The Winter's Tale by Shakespeare, where she played both Hermione and Hermione's daughter, Perdita. She was the first actress to undertake this double casting choice, and she did so to such incredible success that the production ran for over 160 performances and ended up touring her back to the United States. At this point, Mary was decidedly overworked. After collapsing on stage during a performance from exhaustion, her physician advised that she take some time off, which she did. She canceled all of her upcoming engagements and moved back to England. But even though she was taking her own health into consideration, she did not let this stop her from doing what she loved. She moved back to England and married a prominent man in the Catholic Church, Antonio Fernando de Navarro, and established her household as a hub of artistic, musical, and literary creativity. She was universally beloved by all of her distinguished guests and was in fact the inspiration or is rumored to be the inspiration for several prominent literary characters. She also led a short but successful career as a silent film actress. Mary died peacefully and happily in her home in Worcestershire, England at the age of 80. Mary's awesome passion, her commitment to her craft, her drive, and her well-balanced personal life makes her one pretty incredible classical geek. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel for more videos of awesome geekiness. Until next time!